Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So this video has got nothing to do about electric cars. I'm just going to review this uh, tool here. It's called a magnetic sweeper. And if you're like me, before I buy anything, I do internet research and primarily YouTube and watch review videos. And I've just recently bought this. There's not much information on the internet about it. So that's exactly what this is. It's a review video of this Clark magnetic sweeper. So what is a magnetic sweeper? Basically it's a magnetic broom and it's for picking up bits of metal off the ground, primarily sort of nails and screws. And uh, I've got it here to sort of sweep the yard to pick up debris like this, because if that got in a car tire, if that tire had to be replaced, it's more than the cost of the tool. So yeah, very handy things to have if you want to pick up metal from your driveway. If you've had builders in, they often drop screws out the back of their vans. And uh, obviously the cost of car tires is so much now. Having a tool like this to sweep your yard, your driveway or your garden, or in a commercial environment, sweeping the yard where you park up cars or your car park, is probably a wise investment. So previously I was using a magnet on a rope. It was actually something my father knocked up and it was an old round magnet that came from the back of a speaker and we had it hanging on a bit of rope and we would swing that around the yard picking up things like that and it worked incredibly well it's very strong but you had to be very thorough with your sweeping and I was picking up so much rubbish that I thought there must be a better way of doing it and I came across these products so this one is a 36 inch wide one which is pretty much as wide as you can get most of them are 24 inch wide and this was about uh, £87 or so, uh, and it's a Clark one, and it came from Machine Mart. And you'll see quite a few of these online um, with different brands, different stickers on the front. But if it looks like that, then it's likely it's the same unit, because these are probably just knocked out from uh, China and just rebadged as they enter the UK. There are more professional versions, but they came with a price tag of three or four hundred pounds for the same sort of width. They did look much more sturdy and well built, but to be honest, it's the sort of tool you use once and you put it away and you might only bring it out every six months or a year or so. So I didn't think it was worth the money. I've got the box here of this one. As I said, it was a Clark branded one and the model number is ms36b so when it comes in the box it's in bits so the main body is one bit you have to bolt the wheels on the axles you need a 19 millimeter spanner for that and they have, it's just simply a lock nut i have added washers either side but to be honest it doesn't really need it and then the handle is in two parts you screw the handle together well push the handle together and then you have that little locking screw in the middle and just here you bolt it to the main body just with a wing nut, a washer and a spring washer behind it. So that's simple, all you need is a 19mm spanner, everything else is done by hand and uh, then you're ready to go. So let's show you how it works. If I just chuck my two bits of metal on the ground, you just walk around sweeping the yard and you would probably go one way and then come back and sweep the yard the other way but if I flick that over we can see there it's picked up my screw and nail and there's also a few little bits of wire underneath as well so one thing I've discovered is it's not a continuous row of magnets under here it's in blocks but you would probably sweep the yard in multiple directions so it's going to pick everything up and I suspect if a screw is or a bit of metal is in between the two magnets yeah it's strong enough that it jumps across anyway and then to release everything off the bottom you just pull the magnets up like that the magnets are obviously on a bar inside the aluminium housing here and then everything just falls off the bottom and it's that emptying where it gets a little bit awkward because then you obviously got to pick up all this rubbish off the ground so initially what i tried is holding it upright and holding it over a bucket and then pulling the magnet but everything just falls down and then gets captured in that wheel 
and then it's quite difficult to empty the wheel into a bucket so ideally what you want is some sort of tray underneath so what I'm using is this great big bit of cardboard and that is what I've collected this morning by sweeping our yard and as you can see most of it is just metal dust really and that's not going to cause a problem with car tyres but there are things in here which will do like that nasty screw so yeah it does a very good job and this is probably the amount I've picked up in about 45 minutes so even though I'd been around the yard with a magnet it is quite a large yard but I have spent a few hours previously with a magnet picking up lots of stuff this tool is certainly much more efficient so yes you're really going to want a piece of cardboard or a bit of plastic sheeting or something to drop the contents onto because then you can fold this up and drop it into a bucket or the dustbin or whatever. It's a shame they don't make sort of a plastic clip-on tray or something that comes along the bottom that you could then pull the magnet up, it will drop into this temporary tray that you drove over and then you could then just um, pour that into a bucket. But anyway, a solution like that does the job but it's a little bit messy. Actually I've just had a thought, of course you could keep the box that it came in and use that to collect the rubbish and with the wheels on that does still fit in the box so let's just show you how it works if I roll that over the rubbish as you can see there it's picked it all up and then I pull the magnet up and 99% of it is dropped off It is also height adjustable, the wheels are on a slot, I'm not sure whether you can see there, it's a little bit awkward, you've got to undo that, again 19mm nut and slide the axle up and it's gripping with a spring washer, it's not the easiest thing to do, you have to obviously slacken this nut off to give a bit of room, but it's uh, yes, a little bit crude. To be honest, most of the time there you will adjust it for the height you want and then leave it. So as default, it's only about, I don't know, thickness of my finger, centimetre gap underneath. So most people will leave it in the default because you want the magnet as close to the ground as you can. And that's ideal for nice uh, flat yards. But if your ground is a bit rough, and I've been doing some rough ground, then I had to drop the axles down, which raises the height. And when you're pushing it, you want to keep it so the aluminium box section is parallel with the ground and on the maximum height there we've got I don't know it's roughly an inch and a quarter or so off the ground but now now that's a lot better for rough ground because if you ground it out uh, it will push the metal that's stuck with the magnet off but it's not a big issue because you just roll it back in another direction and pick it all back up again. But now I've got this on the higher setting, I'll probably be leaving it on the higher setting. So yeah, when you're doing a bit of yard space where we've got sort of just tight one down on the ground here, you'll get stones like that which would get caught otherwise, but with it raised up, it now just goes straight over this ground. Okay, and finally the handle, you can adjust it. It's just two tubes that slide um, in and out of each other and that just locks it up so you can adjust the height and then you've just got this plastic handle at the end um, so yeah it's all a bit crude and basic but it doesn't matter it does the job and it's not the sort of tool you're going to be using every day anyway so yeah I'm quite happy with it so if you were using a tool like this weekly or more often then yeah maybe you might want that more professional version at three or four hundred pounds but this does the job it was only uh, 87 90 pounds something like that a bit relevant saying prices because everything's going up now and uh, you may be watching this video some years in the future so um, obviously you'd look online see what the prices are um, and as I said there's lots of different brands but they're probably all the same if it's got a handle like that and that framework there that the handle mounts to it's probably exactly the same item because uh, I'm sure these are just made in China and just have different stickers on. Um, but they just come in those two lengths, 24 or 36 inch. But yeah, 
does the job it's picking up the metal work it's fairly easy to release it you just obviously need um, cardboard or a plastic sheet or something to catch it all in so you can then fold it up and drop it into your bin but yeah I'm very pleased I bought it it's probably going to save a few punches so um, therefore it's well worth the money and much easier than what I was doing before swinging a magnet around on a bit of rope so there you go that's my review of the 36 inch magnetic sweeper if you found this video useful please do click that thumbs up button on youtube that really does help other people find the video and hope you found this useful